Hello everybody and welcome to Panic Coaster Console Edition. I hope you are all well and having a grand start to the week. Uh, and thank you in advance for uh, anyone that comes back from the streams from last week. <laughs> or earlier this week, sorry. Um, where I've had, I think it's over 20,000 views now. So I'm absolutely flabbergasted and delighted. And thank you so, so much to anyone who got involved. Um, I'm loath to ever repeat myself. So um, basically, the ad revenue that I got from those 20,000 streams amounted to 14 pounds, I think, guessing. Um, it might be 12, but it was enough to, for me to justify buying the DLC <laughs> so that we could basically come and play with the DLC. Bear with me a second, I'm just rearranging my living room so that I can actually see the comments on a separate screen because <laughs> uh, I couldn't keep up with my mobile last time. So I'm not expecting lightning to strike thrice with the channel. Um, but yeah, Planet Coaster, Console Edition, we're going to be exploring the Deluxe DLC and the Frontier Workshop creations um, so that we can always do something different whenever we stream Planet Coaster. I think in the future I will be streaming Planet Coaster or building style stuff probably on a Monday. Um, but yeah, anyway, the first thing I wanted to go through, I've got like a little mini agenda for this stream, far too organised, it won't happen again I promise. Um, the first thing I want to do is talk about uh, this little sandbox mode in here. I've gone round the edges, and bear in mind this is as zoomed out as possible, so that you can understand and see how big the PS4 version of the sandbox is, uh, which is really handy. Uh, and the reason why I was doing this is that someone has made a coaster called All Coaster Trophies. Um, so the reason why I wanted to try and get this on was to take a ride on the trophy that someone has done called All Coaster Trophies. As you can see, one strut is actually outside, which is disgraceful. Um, but I couldn't quite get it inside the um, area properly, so I was really struggling to try and fit it all in. And I think this is going to be a symptom of the Frontier Workshop, uh, at least in the short term, and I might be wrong. But um, whereas parks have the Oswald rating that once it hits over a certain percentage, it tells you that this won't be backwards compatible. And if you do it on PS5, it won't work for PS4. It doesn't seem to do the same thing for coasters and rides um, because I've had to really fudge to get this inside what we've got. So it's in. But we're going to go and test this out so that I can get all of the trophies <laughs> for the coasters. So let's see what on earth this person done on the Steam, uh, Steam Workshop, Frontier Workshop, to see how we get on. God. <laughs> oh, everyone's going to die on this, surely. Just gonna make it. Done. So that should give you all ten trophies 
and we'll see them pop. There we go. A head for heights has just popped. Uh, I'd already got several accidentally. The ride of your life, silver trophy. Oh, it's a little ticket with a skull on. <laughs> Speed freak, very fast. Jaw dropping. I'm assuming that's for having the redonkulous drop. Scream if you want to. Go I'm assuming go faster. And those were the ones that I had outstanding. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show uh, at the beginning of this. We're going to dive out of this now <laughs> uh, and go to the main menu. So uh, what I had last time uh, we was all streaming was uh, people wanting to see much more around the Frontier Workshop and how it works. So now the game has been up and running for a little while, I thought it'd be interesting to have a little dive in. I've downloaded several people's parks for us to go and have a wander in first before I then dive into the DLC content that is available on the uh, PlayStation Network and obviously Xbox One as, um, store as well. Um, so when you get into the main menus, you dive across to here where it says Frontier Workshop and dive in with X. Very, very simple to get up and running. And inside here, you have uh, whatever is the most popular creations this week, and everything is kind of rated. Uh, and it's depending on how many thumbs up and down, uh, thumbs downs, I think, that's going on here as to what's uh, happening. Hi, Burke. Thank you for joining. Um, as you can see, the trophy ones have popped up um, and various kind of things that have happened here. Oh, I like that jungle spin. I'm going to completely break off and subscribe to that. And that's what you do, essentially. So if you spot something you like, theme-wise, click on it and it will take you to the menu here. And you just hit on subscribe and it will download in the background. It kind of hangs whilst you're on the store, uh, or Frontier Workshop, sorry, saying downloading. Don't worry, it will have downloaded in the background. So if you're happy with something, um, you can rate it as a thumb up if you don't like it you can rate it as a thumb down you can add it to favorites if you want to but i don't um i've not really utilized favorites in this game yet uh and if you want to report something you've got it there interesting uh everything will be tagged as well for different types of rides and if it's got dlc in it you need to be able to own the dlc in order to actually go in and dive and play it if you then dive across to the next one, you've got the browse feature here, which is where everything is kind of uh, plopped into various different uh, categories for you to stream. Hi, TTV. Hope you're well. Oh, I hope you're not too sweaty. <laughs> wow. Um, you can browse everything. Or what I was finding much more easier was to dive into the various different sections here. So I was looking at the parks. As you can see, you've got up to 926 megabytes of storage space that you're allowed to download from the Frontier Workshop. I'm not really sure what that is. I'm, I think it's because when you download all of these things, it adds it to your menu of creations across the bottom and it might kind of overpower it and clunk it. So when you dive into here, um, it always puts the most recent ones up front first. Uh, so if you're looking for the juicy ones, I recommend pressing square and just changing it to ratings or total subscriptions. Getting it tomorrow, can't wait. Ah, oh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, so as you can see with ratings, I was diving through and quickly uh, downloading stuff as we go because um, I wanted to see what was the most exciting ones. Um, if you press triangle, it brings up this filters option. So if you're looking for like a park with a certain scenery type, then you can really be quite specific in what you want to search for. It's just that it's not populated massively yet because it's new. So this will become much more uh, worthwhile during uh, as you go through time. I'm just going to dive into this one because for some reason I've not downloaded this. So I'm going to subscribe to that and it will download in the background. Uh, and that's all you need to do. If you then go on to my profile with R1, you can then upload a creation if you want to. I've not uploaded anything. You've all seen the toot that I make. If you've watched any of my previous two streams, <laughs> they're not worthy of upload yet. Uh, and then you can look at your subscriptions. Um, and what's really interesting here, so 
the person who had created uh, Canyon Runner has actually now uploaded an update to it. So it tags it there as being an update available. So what you've downloaded will still be in your menu as you go. But what you need to then do if you want to physically update it to the latest version is to dive in oh, and not press circle, you twit. <laughs> uh, and hit update and then that will download and replace what you've already got there so it's just making sure that um, you kind of keep up to date with what's going on um, the only thing that's kind of a bit worrying with that is that if someone makes the coaster worse you then can't roll back so um, it's a little bit of blind faith but I would like to think that everyone would be continually updating their uh, coasters to add on better theming or to try and stop clipping of things and that kind of stuff so in theory fingers crossed you'd be doing better as stuff goes along so um yeah i found actually the frontier workshop to be quite intuitive what i will say is that the longer you spend on the frontier workshop uh the slower the refresh rate gets so when i first dived into this workshop uh, before i went live and was downloading everything there wasn't any lag between any of this stuff kind of pouring through and it does get slightly slower um, as you go along. Uh, Sweat, can you talk about the limit, whatever it is, uh, on scenery? Uh, it's on everything, Sweat. So uh, it includes rides, coasters, scenery all together. Um, I'll touch on it once we get into um, looking at some of the parks and I'll kind of point it out to you as you go. So, I've done some downloading from the Frontier Workshop in advance so that we can take a look at other people's parks. Then what I'm going to do is dive into sandbox mode and we're going to just place down stuff that's all um, from the DLC only because I didn't own the DLC at the beginning of the week. But thank you to everyone that watched uh, Sunday and Monday streams. Um, the ad revenue meant that I could buy the DLC. So thank you very much. You've all been very kind. So when you go into parks, it's all filtered up on the top here. So you've got everything that you've been doing. So you'll see my terrible career mode <laughs> stuff going on at the top. I have been saving stuff. I've proper butchered the great tree. I'm so sorry, world. Um, I wish I could make paths not look like I've just drawn it like I've been on a epileptic fit. Uh, anything you've made in sandbox. Um, and it's like auto saves as well. So like that one, I don't if when was that? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, I've not done anything challenge-wise yet. And then in the Frontier Workshop, everything that you kind of want is here. So what I'm going to do... How many did I download? I downloaded quite a few. So I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. So the first one we're going to take a look at is Slag Haran. I've probably um, upset someone in German or Austrian there, I'm sure. And we'll take a look at the limit count for all of these as they're loading. Because I think that'd be quite helpful for people so that you keep your expectations in check. And that we don't all get run away with ourselves. <laughs> he says. Uh, and you can watch people make parks better than I do. Which can't be hard. Okay, so this park has 79% of the limit. If I just zoom all the way out, that's what we've got, but it's heavily detailed and themed. It's looking beautiful, actually. Um, and you can see the, it's the orange thing down at the bottom, that 79%. I've placed it down on the menu so that I can always see it. That's not there by default. You have to add it. Uh, if, you, if you've got the game and you want to know where the count is, uh, if you dive into your options by pressing options on the PS4, it's in settings and it's across in the last little thing here called the Oswald Eugene counter. So you can kind of categorise it however you want it to be. So let's have a swoop in with this one. Nice little desert wild westy type theme here. A thief has been caught. Oh, hello. 
Oh, we'll go on that in a sec. So this person has actually done like proper theming. Welcome to the remake of Slag Harren by Geki Squad, aka Justin. Thank you very much. Let's go walking in. Oh, right through you between your legs. Probably get arrested for that in most countries. A little bit of theme in there. Nice little pond. Oh, I'm loving the little chair lift. That's a chill way to get around. Good little monorail going on. Okay, so what have we got over here? I didn't even spot that originally. That's a tiny little one. Good little roller coaster. Should we see if we can get on it? Is it even running? Yes, it is. Choo choo! Choo choo, Tars! the most exciting coaster but a very tiny footprint actually so uh, and even just down to the fact that they've put in all of the gates and stuff like that I think that's really really cool and it's all of that that kind of cumulatively adds up to stuff as you go along we got over here a little tiny log flume splashdown I love a log flume I shit myself, but I love them. Loving the theming of this. Go on that monorail in a minute. What do you get in the deluxe edition? Uh, hi, Nigel. Uh, you get the um, base game obviously then you get the marvelous rides pack and the classic rides pack combined um, I've managed the cheapest way at least in the UK was I bought the physical copy for PlayStation 4 because it was 32 pounds and then um, you can buy for the pack separately for £7.99 or you get both together for £9.99 so buying the physical one plus £9.99 for the DLC is cheaper than if you paid £49.99 to get it digitally off the PlayStation Network store um, I don't know if the same thing applies for Xbox though nice little teacups oh that's making me hungry I've not had dinner <laughs> A little bit over here. I like the way how I was going to say is yeah, there's shops under there. That's good. Great little bit of theming in there. Even with the um, little bits. Hi, Robert. Hope you're well. Okay, let's zoom out. I think line two is cheap. So what have we got over here? I think we'll have to go on that chairlift. It's just a nice, good, wholesome park. I really like it. The theming is classic but good. Oh, that's a bit glitchy. But apart from that, looking gorgeous.
pizza pan. Oh, oh no one's there. All the staff have buggered off. Right. Then what have we got over here? Oh, we've got a little coaster over here. Oh, we've got to go on that, surely. Be a sh it'd be a shame not to. I'm playing Panic Coaster edition, console edition whilst watching this. Well done, Squeezy. <laughs> uh, this is not my park, Robert. We're just taking a quick look through um, some of the highest rated parks on the Frontier Workshop. So we'll be leaving this one in a second once we've gone round probably the chairlift. Oh, banana. Splash. That person had like the most square chin I've ever seen in a game. <laughs> right, so that's cool. Oh, I like the way how they've done that. That looks very toy towny. Very cute. I'll make a blueprint of my park. Oh, cool, OG Squeezy. If you're on the PlayStation uh, 4 or 5, let us know. And if we're still streaming and it's all up and running, we can go in and download and have a good nose around. <laughs> An act of vandalism was seen on the security camera. Disgraceful. Oh, I'm liking like the natural rocky park as well. This person has done a fantastic job in my not very, um, what the hell is this? I'm so confused. Why is that? I mean, it looks great from the outside, but I don't really know what it I suppose you're pretending that it's like a, a circus or a zoo, maybe? Oh, Dark Ride will be built in a different map. Well, there we go. That that makes... Um, <laughs> that says a lot about what is and isn't available to get onto the console version. It was never going to be quite the same as Parity's PC. I do think some people are quite disappointed, though. Um... Let's dive on. Here, yeah, and then we'll dive into the next sh um, park. Um, I think, uh, OG, when you go and save your park, you can then click into parks, and in the options there, it lets you upload it to the Frontier Workshop, I believe. Uh, I've not uploaded anything personally. Actually, this is quite slow. We might not stick around. Hello? Your teeth are brighter than my future. <laughs> A comment I've always wanted to say on stream. Also, your eyes are scary. Oh, we're off. Oh, that's good. Oh, I wish there was someone getting absolutely trenched behind us. I love the aliveness of it all. So good. Luna Park, a Herman's passion. Hey Yuri, hope you're well. I think any motor park would be Herman's passion. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is good. Na 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 na. <laughs> Good little theming as well. Yeah, I think this park is absolutely superb. So 79% is what that goes up to. Plenty to do and to get on with. Me happy and pleased with that. So that park is. Let's just exit to the menu and we'll dive into our next one. I like that you are happy. <laughs> well, there is Herman in chat. I don't think he's here today. Thanks to your streams, I've purchased the game. Having good fun with it. My coaster is on the store. 
OC Legio. Not the best, but still learning. Keep up the great streams. Oh, we'll take a little look at that. I'll go through the ones that I've already downloaded, if I've not already got to yours. And then we'll have a look at some... Maybe we can do some community ones. Uh, so the one that we just looked at was called Slag Harren. I'm sure I'm probably swearing horrifically somewhere. OG Squeezy Lands, that is my park. Cool, okay, we'll take a look in a sec. Um, Rocky Springs, I think, is the best rated park currently on the Frontier Workshop. So I've downloaded this one for us to take a little look at. Because it's worthwhile showing how the game can really be well done, as opposed to watching me be really crap. <laughs> Albeit perhaps more realistic for some people. <laughs> be a chunky one it's taken a while to load is the planet coaster in-game music copyright um yes it is but the people um i know that i know the composers because i've spoke to them on well i don't say i know them i spoke to them on twitter because i reviewed their music and the soundtrack on another website i run called higherplanemusic.com and um they actively don't like they don't go after copyright strikes of the music on YouTube. Um, so don't worry. Um, the soundtrack is available to buy on Bandcamp, though. I adore Bandcamp. It's one of my favorite places to go and spend even more money that I don't have. Oh, my God. So basically, that roller coaster is a giant metal cock. <laughs> Right, so again, right down in the corner here. So this person has gone right the way up to 95% of the Oswald limit. So this is a really, really good example of what the limits of what I would say current gen as opposed to new gen or next gen because PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X aren't out for everyone. So... Someone's gone nuts with the trees. I feel like I'm going off in a, like a forest. This is very, um, I'm feeling very Chessington. Yeah, and very phallic. Right, where's the, talking of phallic, where am I, where's the entrance? Where am I going in? How did they make that? I know, it's really jealous. <laughs> my, my jealousy is spanning. I'm just trying to find where the entrance is so that we can like, it's as if we're taking a walk through. Where is, where is the entrance, entrance, entrance? I can't work it out. Where are they coming in from? Oh, here. Okay. Do they mean by the build limits, the massive white border around the edge? No. So, build limit. Can you see down in the bottom uh, screen, there's 95% in a red folder. Anything that, um, so yes, there is a white border around the outside in terms of limits of the space of the park, but you're limited with the amount of objects you can place in the park. And that's what that percentage is. And you're more likely to fill up that percentage before you fill up your entire area, if that makes sense. So like this tree, you might need to plant about... 30 of them but eventually that will be like one percent hello nine goats um whereas like a big chunky roller coaster might take up um like five or six percent if you've been playing the game and you've been in the fairy tale theme there's a ginormous like fuck off huge castle and that takes up like 11 or 12 percent because it is so detailed with hundreds of like parts all connected all together, complete with scenery, theming and trees. So it just depends. You have to kind of be savvy with your placement. Uh, and I was thinking about this the other day and I almost feel like they for PC players, if you're coming across to console, like if you're if you're on console and you've never played the game before, I think you'd less notice the limits. But if you've played on PC already and you're coming across to this, 
I'd almost want to recall this game Planet Coaster Challenge Edition <laughs> because the challenge is to think small and compact um, because in PC you're spoiled if you've got a really good um, console and mods where you can kind of go out and really test the limits and make absolute sprawling beasts um, but you can't do that on console you are constrained to a point oh look at the theming i love i do like the planet coaster theme of stuff actually it's really elegant and um it reminds me of soft play centers <laughs> i know i'm 37 but i'm still happy to go and play in a soft play area <laughs> boing uh, is this your park? No, it's not. This is the highest rated park on the Frontier Workshop. So we're just going around and having a look at what good parks look like before I butcher it and make a really crap one <laughs> using all of the stuff that's on the DLC. But I just want to show people kind of what good looks like <laughs> because I'm not good enough to be able to do it. <laughs> um... Again, they, they're good with the old primary colours of blue and red and white. Very American. Oh, I feel like we need to get on this. So, yeah, another wooden coaster runaway train. Not very... um. bothered and this is the other thing as well is that if you spot something inside the uh, park that you want to do um ah shit let's get on not that one thank you and we're gonna go in the m let's go in car five let's be at the back um if you spot a coaster in a park then you can save that coaster separately and like pull it out of the park and use it yourself. Uh, is the DLC worth it? I genuinely don't know yet because I've literally only just bought it. Um, so we can, I'll discover it as we go. Um, I just wanted to do this section first, if that's okay. Uh, but it come, the DLC comes with, I think it was 18 flat rides and a, I think it was two or three coasters um, and then like two track rides. Yeah, it's worth the $10 more. Cool. I'm excited to get into it. When you guys ride a roller coaster, do you sit at the front or at the back or in the middle? How brave are you? <laughs> that was a cool coaster, I enjoyed that. It's at this point I'd want to go, ah! Like come back and be like, we nearly died! <laughs> OG squeezy at the front. Oh. I think my PC has just had a fart. Why has it done that? I get very annoyed. That's how I was watching your comments. Come back, PC. Stupid thing. It's funny how the DC comes with the game that's just released. Yes, Crazy for Gaming. Um, I think it's because... Let me get myself back in again. There we go. Hi, Kim Brown. Everyone wants to ride at the front. Uh, it's because the game has been out on PC for such a while that I think they were just able to kind of plop the piece, the DLC across. And because that's how it was released on PC, um, they're kind of damned if they do and damned if they don't. Oh, let's get on this one. This looks horrifying. Single rail basilic. All right, let's go on the front for this one. I'm a new subscriber and I love your videos. Oh, thank you very much, King Bran. I'm not always doing Planet Coaster stuff. Um, as you'll have seen, um, I cover all different types of games, but this seems to have really resonated with a lot of people, so I'm going to be doing quite a lot more. Oh, 
But yeah, just um, if you do subscribe, just a fair warning. I, I do all kinds of different games all the time. Like um, tomorrow, I'll be streaming the new Kingdom Hearts rhythm action game. <laughs> so like, not not anything to do with Planet Coaster at all. But I will be doing much more building simulation stuff. Not just Planet Coaster. I do own Planet Zoo on PC. Um, I do want to do a, um, some stuff with Parkitect as well. Um, and because I've never thrown away a console, I've still got um, uh, things like Thrillville on my PlayStation 2. I've still got my PlayStation 1 uh, with Theme Park on. I've still got my Mega Drive with Theme Park. So, yeah, um, there's plenty of building stuff to get on with. So hopefully I'll be able to keep you entertained um, if the other types of videos of reviews and other types of game genres don't interest you. Uh, Robert, do you like the game? Yes, I'm really enjoying it, and I'm really surprised at how well, uh, like how smooth it is. Um, I see a question there from uh, Nine Goats. Do you think next gen will have limits? Um, will have no limits because of the massive frame rate increase? Uh, they've said that it will still have limits. It's just it's about another thirty to forty percent bigger. Uh, let's have a quick nose around. What is the top rated park currently on the Frontier Workshop? Could you go to my park after that? Yeah, we'll take a little look at your park. Sure, no problem. I think this works quite nicely. It's a really simplistic theme, but they've worked with it really well. Some great colours, some nice theming. Oh, I didn't even spot that coaster. And great use of primary colours as well. Oh, I'm liking the shading of that where it kind of crosses over. Obviously, it's the Sunblast one, so that's cool. Oh! <gasps> Rapids! Okay, we've got to go on the giant dildo. Hang on. Finding fielding uh, coasters from scratch a little bit fiddly and getting the meters correct. Yes. Wow. We rode the giant dildo. That's that. Uh, my best um, advice as someone who is completely new to this and has no experience is whenever I've been playing with coasters, um, it's the banking that really helps you. So, like, go from having zero banking to 22% to 45% so that you can make the corners much more smoother for the passengers and the people. Uh, someone was saying zoom out so that we can see 95%. Here we go. Hope that's kind of okay. Lots, lots of space, I would say, in this one. But shit ton of trees <laughs> which I think is probably not helping it potentially but it looks busy someone's got some sirens on the go and that's one two three four five is that six coasters and a wild rapids can you plug in keyboard and mouse yes you can on console King Bram no worries, Mark. No problem at all. Um, so yeah, when we go in and we'll have a look at the um, DLC uh, stuff that I've bought today, we can have a look at that. Oh, do we want to... Let's have a go on this one, and then we'll dive into the next park. Apologies. Oh! Schnauzers! That's horrifying. Let's not do that. Here we go. Right. Oh god, we're straight into it with this one. Oh, you can get both DLC packs for 9 99 at the moment. Yep, that's exactly how I done it, say so all the way. Mm. 
rude? Am I rude, Anna? Uh, this is a full pre-built park. Uh, well, someone uploaded it to the uh, Frontier Workshop as if they're just a user. So someone's built this themselves. This is Copper Copperhead Strike. Oh, okay. I have no idea. Oh, is it getting ready for us to launch? Oh, good music theming. Yeah, I feel like I could build this because if it's pre-made stuff with just trees and stuff all kind of laid out, I can even get to that. I just wanted to show you that though in coaster mode because that's at 95%. Um, and did you notice there was a tight, there's only a tiny little bit of frame rate drop, but that is a coaster in the middle of the park going absolutely nuts. So that's kind of the game running at its limit and it still runs practically smoothly. So yay. Hey Steph, hope you're well. Welcome back. Hope you had a good week. Hey, aesthetic tama tamale. Hmm, a little tamale in the morning, in the evening. Okay, so we're gonna dive into the workshop and have a look at OG Squeezy's park. Do you wanna check out your park? Yeah, sure Steph. We can have a look at yours if, um, if I've not already downloaded it. <laughs> Let's have a look. All right, browse. So I'm assuming as you've just uploaded it, it's going to be the most recent park. There you are. Oh, hello, hello, hello. There we go. Who's made a park called Nicky? Oh, I thought it said Nicky Minaj. <laughs> I was going to say, I... I get the impression quite a lot of people have already ridden her, so I wouldn't really want to recommend it. <laughs> oh, cool. Cheers, Steph. Uh, right. Da -da 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 -da. Let's have a look. Uh, now I've confused myself. There it is. Why isn't it in... There doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason to the order of that, so that's very confusing. This channel is hilarious. I've not even broke out the alcohol yet. I need to stop blowing if I put so many hours into it. If you're doing it on the PS4 console one, uh, Nine Goats, just let us know, because um, I'll be doing future streams of this where we can have a little rummage. We can have a look at your park lid. Or... Okay, so this is OG. So you're new to it all, aren't you? So you're on 82%. Why does it feel? It feels a bit sluggish. Oh, I think it's just loading in some last little bits. We're okay now. You've gone a bit nuts with the old uh, painty brush. Imagine walking in under that. That would... That reminds me of... Um, in Chessington World of Adventures, it's... Um, the vampire ride there's a section where it kind of it goes right over where you're walking paint yourself there are these all ones that you've made yourself 
uh, squeezy with the um, the coasters. Nice little monorail. Oh. <laughs> I like the way how <laughs> you're just like, here, have a fountain. <laughs> nice one. Really good start here. Um, oh, this is looking good. I am liking, I want to ride this, if I'm honest. This one looks really juicy. Let's let's get in with the uh, the river rapids because you followed the theme in all the way round, which I think is going to be juicy. That is supposed to be a mountain. <laughs> I'm at 46 with two rides, but a lot of theming. Oh wow! Hope them rides better be pulling in them mighty bucks. <laughs> Sail away. I got whiplash at the revolution at Blackpool. Oh, Blackpool! In the 90s, I thought you were meant to get off at the other end. No, go backwards. Funnily enough, so, oh, so I'm sure it's the revolution. Show my age now, but since you've showed your age by say, saying the decade 90s, sail away, I shall indulge. Um, the my parents when they went on their honeymoon they went to blackpool pleasure beach and they said that they got they basically shit themselves up on a ride that went one way but then went backwards and my mum wasn't prepared for it and she um nearly fell off and basically my dad had to kind of hold her in all the way through um and apparently they were so uh buggered up by the end of that they went home and f feared for their life and I think I was the product of the night afterwards <laughs> oh, so maybe I owe, I owe my life to the terrible safety of Blackpool Pleasure Beach <laughs> don't mean it looks in means and size should pop that on a tinder bio Getting all the single loaders. Oh, splash. I think we missed most of it, but I really like the theming of how you followed it all the way around with the trees and stuff like that around there. That's really cool. So, and then in, into the tunnel. Oh, should we go in? Can we? Yeah, we can. Do, do, do. Oh, maybe not. Uh, this is the only problem with not having a vertical control in this game. I do find it's just like I don't know what to do with tunnels and going underwater if you've used the chisel feature. So let's just dive out of that. But yeah, well done, Squeezy. Loving that. Great start. You need... Um... I wonder, actually. Hang on, two seconds. So if we dived in here... So yours was a fantasy, wasn't it? So let's dive in... Or lots of fantasy stuff. So if we then kind of done Oh no, it's too chunky and it brings it up percentage wise. I was gonna start trying to decorate your um cart and stuff, but we'll uh deal with that. But yeah, well done. Great stuff. I'll be interested to see how um that works once you've finished off all of the theming and stuff. We can come back to that. Be kind to everyone that's new. Oh, Square and L1 lets you get up and... Ah, oh, cool. Fab. Thank you. Do you know what? I was doing that when I was busy spinning around with coasters. Uh, Steph, is your one up yet? Let's have a little look. If not, we'll dive into one more of the pre-made top rated ones and we'll have a look at that instead. Oh, shit. No... Oh, I could do a park contest. That's a good idea. The park is called Kingdom's Quest. Oh, there you are. Okay. 
Dr. Meyer. Fly on an endeavour through the kingdom where danger awaits. That basically sounds like my commute to work going into London. Nothing beats the big one at Blackpool, but no more coasters for me. My back couldn't handle it. <laughs> yes. Kingdom's Quest Wing Coaster. Uh, oh, and Modern Consumer Park is the other top rated um, park at the moment as well. I would suggest riding the Wing Coaster in the daylight and the Western Coaster in the dark. Okay. I'm sad there's no cross-platform map. You're on Xbox. Ah, that's a shame. Crazy for gaming. I'm not very good at um, roller coasters. I think I've only been upside down a couple of times. Um, I went to. Oh, it was probably giving to. Oh, hello. I'll return to my story in a second. I am Captain Mavated. Oh, this looks juicy. So yeah, 46%. Oh, this looks really good, Steph. I'm I'm already jealous of people's skills. <laughs> this is what ruined me with dreams. <laughs> as soon as I was in dreams, I was like, I'm going to make games. We're going to do this, that and the other. And then I was just like, oh, my poor little stick man can barely jump. <laughs> oh, happy little gays running around. Happy little janitor. Oh, look at this theming. What a job. Oh, and you've got it all like properly lined up. Um, hang on. What the sod in hell? No! I've not seen that yet. <laughs> Loving that. This is hell for moderation. What is it? Oh no, show that. The fences were a pain in the ass. I can imagine. Your laugh is class. It sounds like Jimmy Carr. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Jimmy Carr for you. He's a filthy little fucker, isn't he? Um, but good fun. He's not someone that you would take home to mummy and daddy. Oh, that's cool. I bet that was a... Were you able to kind of add that in properly? Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. I got it. I'll tell you what I'm also loving around this as well, is that you can see that you've really thought out how the coaster interacts and kind of... You're always going round so that you, you, you're you always in view of what's going on around you with people and interacting. And so you're always, if you was like an actual person, pe person, person walking around this park, you would always have something to look at. Like this bit here. It reminds me of, um, oh, like walking around the perimeter of a Grand Prix circuit. And I'm always like, oh, look at the pretty tracks. Right, let's get on and have a have a wee go. So it was the wing coaster during the day, wasn't it? That we wanted to play with. He says not actually getting on the frigging wing coaster. You twat. Right, hang on. There we go. <laughs> I know my coasters. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hello. I'm 44 and I feel like a big click fan this game. Yes! Theme park in the 90s. We're going to do... 
I tell you what, I will get back out my PS1 because I've now got the cameras to do, uh, the cables to do it all, and we can do an original theme park stream at some point. Can you bust out the vod whiskey or vodka? I, I have to check what alcohol I've got in actually. What with the uh, lockdown in the UK. Oh yes. Okay, that would make me throw up. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. at that corner a bit wrong you'd give yourself a bit of a facial oh Doris with a purple rinse is on the car hello I hope you're wearing colostomy bag Edna won't be pleased. Oh, even with the little thingy bubbles. Look at the station when you enter it in the roof. I bet that took for f ever. <laughs> I'll tell you what, there is a lot of love and excellence in that. That's superb. Well done. Great theming. Great flow, actually, as well. And again, what I was saying earlier about how that all, how it interacts with the path. I was I had a thought during the week that in a future stream I'm going to try and make a park which entirely um you know the sunrise uh the sundial one that goes up really really high that flatland um ride put that in the center of the map and just like make it spiral ever all the rides spiral around it and it becomes like a giant bullseye it'd be an absolute state um but I guess the drunker I get the more access the more, the, the more worthwhile it becomes Oh, this is superb. Uh, I ha I must go back and give this a thumbsy up. We, I think anyone that's got it on PS4, you need to go in and find this coaster uh, in, in this uh, park and give it a good old thumbs up and see if we can get one of our own to the top of the Frontier Workshop. Uh, I know you said... N what's the time? Let's quickly... So you said do this one at night, wasn't it? Uh, speedy up the times. Bonjour. Oh. Monsieur de Fleet. Oh, I didn't realise that. Oh, we can set lighting. I'd forgotten all about this. Do 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 do. Grand. Okay, so we're going to do this one at night time. Oh, yes. Oh, hello. Yeah, there's something... I think this goes back to what I was trying to say earlier about... Um, if you can get... Almost calling the console version like... Oh, I don't want to spoil it. Come back, come back, come back. Is this coming into the thing? Yes, it is. Good. Hello? She looks like she's about to throw up. What have you done to her? <laughs> is it night in the UK because I'm in Chicago and it's very sunny? It is uh, 8.40 in the evening here, uh, King Bram. On Friday night... I've not had dinner. I've completely forgot myself. I might have to order a takeaway. Um, as a celebration for the first week. Oh, we're off. Ah! 
Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's superb. Oh, my parks are so shit in comparison. <laughs> Order some chili beef with some pip shot. <laughs> so Steph, I'd be really interested in the chat. What what are you gonna do with this next if you're saying it's not finished and you're gonna put it off? Is there gonna be like a third giant coaster to round it off? Or something? Because Yeah. That's superb. What else have we got? Let's have a quick look. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, this is literally every school dinner lady in school. <laughs> I've got dinner for you. Oh, Aaron always has broken down. I'm glad we got on it by then. Superb. Loving that. I need to... I'm going to make the mineshaft in the cave with some lights. Fantastic. Yeah, I think you'd do well with a wooden coaster. Wonder if mods will be added eventually. I don't think you will get mods on the console version, so the way. I just think because you're so technically locked in with whatever the console is doing, you'll be a bit stuk, I think. I just need to I can't not thumb that up. Donde Esther. Uh, we'll have a look at one more park before we then dive in. Let's put that on a right. Okay. Actually, let's have a, a, a shimmy and just remind myself what the top rated ones were on the Frontier Workshop. And then we'll dive in and make something. Hey, Sloffy. How you doing? I was having a look through your video, Sloffy, by the way, this week. Um, when I was supposed to be on a telly kit at work. Whoops. Um, and I was watching you build your um, Pac-Man thingamabob. Very, very entertaining. I was, in I found it quite funny. Um, and then secretly wanted it. <laughs> uh, parks. Hey, Wiffle Ball. Welcome. Uh, I'm actually making an Xmas park and plan to have it completed one week before Christmas. Ah, oh, that would be great. I smell a Christmas stream coming on. Uh, yes, here, Lil. Do you think there'll be an offer for the game for BF? Uh, BF? I'm not sure what that would mean. Sorry. It's going to happen mods on the Xbox are a thing like in... Surviving Mars. Oh, Surviving Mars is in my backlog. Oh, Black Friday. Sorry. I don't think you'll get... I, I, the maximum you'll get would be a 10% discount for Black Friday, surely. I think after Christmas there will be a discount. Um, potentially. But I think Black Friday will be too soon because it's still in its first month of release. Okay, so modern consumer we've taken a look at. We've taken a look at Slugger. We've taken a look at Rocky Springs. 
So I reckon we should take a look at Enzo Land as the um, last one to take a look at in the parks before we then go and have a look at all of the DLC stuff. Because I appreciate that that's kind of what I labelled the stream as. But we've been... I just wanted to um, think... Oh no, don't apologise at all for your English. I apologise for me just being an Essex twat. Enzo Land is real big. That's what she said. Whilst that loads, I'm just going to quickly grab myself a drink. I'll be 10 seconds. Don't mind me. Are they talking of Black Friday, actually, in terms of... Oh, 99%? Crikey. Um, Black Friday deals. Maybe it's just me because of the type of gamer that I am. The current PlayStation Indie sale that's going on on the PlayStation Network is breaking me. <laughs> um, I've spent a redonkulous amount of money that I really didn't want to spend because I'd already spent this month's... Um, like cash money in the Steam Halloween sale. <laughs> so I've already, I've basically spent my, oh, that'll be your Christmas spending money in the PlayStation Indie sale. Um, we can all see where this is going. <laughs> Bankrupt myself. Oh, this looks superb. I bet about 20% of the feet of the, of the um, Eugene Omita is trees. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look. I'm a big fan of the lighting of this game. Very good. Your little trio of mascots. Oh, I've not seen that yet. Sorry, some of this might be like really basic to other people, but where I'm still, I'm trying to go through as much of career and just trying to um, pace myself a bit where I can. Oh. Paranormal. Ah, oh, Crimbo. Hey, Patrick. I tried to stream this, but struggled with build and talk with a hundred people in chat. <laughs> it's a skill. It's a skill. I'm very fortunate that um, outside of this channel, I do um, esports commentary for sim racing. Uh, occasionally uh, and with that you have to have the game going on one part of your screen stats and all of the real-time information of like sector times and fastest laps and gaps and stuff all going on another screen chat going on another screen and we used to run a social media wall at the same time and because if apologies this is a bit off topic but with um uh, this is ps4 by the way uh, that i'm playing on um, when you're having to do all of that, uh, when you're doing esports commentary, the person that controls the cameras isn't the person who's making, doing the, you're not synced up with them, so you don't see what they see, so you always have someone talking in your ear telling you what's going on, so you kind of have to mentally remember how to multitask as you go, so I've been doing that for about 11 years now, so... It's very handy for being able to play slightly shit and watch a stream. I was asking which you preferred. Oh, sorry. Um, I want a PS5 because I've always been... So I've always done PlayStation consoles and then I've done uh, PC and Steam because anything that's an Xbox One exclusive always comes out on PC. So I was like, oh, best of both worlds. Um, same as when uh, I lived at home with my stepbrother uh, when I was a kid. I always went Sega and he always went Nintendo so that we could try and like spread the load. <laughs> um, not that my parents ever kind of let us do that. We'd always, because we weren't exactly rich people, we'd always be a console behind. 
So um, I remember when the PlayStation 1 came out, that was when I got a Sega Mega Drive or Genesis if you're in America. Um, and then I used to go around car boot sales with my dad, who is Scottish. Um, and there's a the reason why loads of people are like Scottish people are tight there's a very good reason for that because they fucking well are <laughs> and my dad would be like yeah, I can't do a Scottish accent but you'd pick up um, it's when I got theme park actually for the Mar for the Mega Drive uh, and he was like e do you want to do like £2.50 and they'd be, you'd be like trying to barter for my Mega Drive games <laughs> Oh, I'm loving that. Right, we're getting on this coaster. Sorry, we've been I've been a bit chatty. I didn't mean to. This park is beautiful though. Is there one of these types of coasters at Wickstead in England? Wickstead is like a really small, crappy theme park um, where every ride that you go on, you kind of like say a Lord's Prayer because you just think that's not safe enough. <laughs> I'm sure it was Wickstead where, because the problem with those those mouse ones uh, what ride is that one? Is it DLC? I shall check. Um, I don't think it is DLC. It is a spinning wild mouse. I think the mouse ones are part of the original, if I remember rightly. The thing with spinning wild mouse in real life, I'm a bit fat. So if you get on with that with a fat person and a skinny person, you're constantly lopsided. So you just spin around really horribly <laughs> and you make the other person sick. <laughs> oh, this looks cool. Andale, andale. This now makes me think I should order a Chinese. Fabulous earring. Fab earrings, girl. Oh, she's excited. Or is she looking like she's trying to hold in a wee? I can't quite tell. Oh, rough. How easy are the controls on PS4? Surprisingly easy, actually, Nigel, I must say. Um, I th there, there's like a 30 minute where you feel like it's not working at all and then it starts to click and for me it's all around the, the fact that you zoom in and out and turn using the analogue sticks and it just takes a while of getting used to um, and I keep forgetting that you can press and hold square and then that lets you have a bit more uh, binary control of moving up, down, in and out on a certain axis. But the menus work great. Loving this station. Hmm, that was good. Okay. Cube. That's in the original stuff. I think that's in the original. In fact, this is all in the original stuff because um, it didn't flag up as having any DLC attached to it. So yeah, this is all part of the original game or the base game, I should say. Oh, that looks cool. That would be that would be a ride you'd never catch me on. Ever, 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 ever. I just feel like with my moves <laughs> I'm one curry away from that cable snapping and me flying off into oblivion. Oh, 
Or the person in front of you would fart and then you'd be constantly stuck in their fumes. One or the other. Uh, out of topic, but have you ever played Subnautica? Um, oh, now that is a good question as we just dive out of this. We're going to take a look at the DLC stuff in a second. Um, Subnautica, I've, I'm going to need to check. Two seconds. I think I've got it in my backlog on... I think it was one of those ones where I was like, I'm going to get this on Steam, on a Steam sale. And um, I've not actually tried it yet. Because I think it was in the sale before my old PC died earlier this year. So potential back catalogue. Uh, but I've not actually physically played it myself. Would you recommend it? I've, that's got lots of base building, hasn't it? Uh, where should we go theme-wise? Anyone that's watching, if you pop that in the uh, chat, let us know where you want me to build. And let's get on and start making some stuff on DLC. Can Bran Alpine? Alpine? Oh, two for Alpine. It was one of the best survival games ever. My only worry of Subnautica um, was I didn't want it to be too... Um, uh, what's the name? Hello, Ricky. Uh, I didn't want it to be too... Um, like, run away from the shark, run away from the shark. <laughs> Does the PS4 version get laggy? Uh, start to get laggy after a lot of... No, uh, Amelia. Um, occasionally, if you're riding a coaster that's really fast in the middle of a park that is maxed out, you might get a tiny little frame drop, but rarely. And I've not run into any technical problems with the PS4 version at all. And I'm just on the PS4 standard version. Um, I've got an external hard drive connected in, so that might cause it a little bit of slowness because it's got to go through that as opposed to just pulling it directly from the PS4's own internal storage. But I've not run into any trouble, which is just as well, really. Uh, what are we calling this? Uh, Alpine. Alpine! Quite easy to theme with the trees. Ah, oh, see, this is this is all the the juicy tidbits. Can you play the coconut song for the stream? I'm assuming that means that we can change the music in here. I actually, based my wing coaster off the wing coaster in the Netherlands called Phoenix in Toverland. Okay. It's the big boys you run from, but then you can fight after some time. Oh, okay, cool. Handy to know. Oh, well, maybe I'll have to add Subnautica to a future buildy type stream in the future. I need to test out some of how I do uh, streaming in my uh, PC and that kind of stuff. I'm a little bit out of practice with it all right so what i wanted to do with this uh, oh and, and before i do so i did download a couple of coasters and apologies if i said this right at the beginning of the stream but there was only me here so i'll just say it again just in case if you download anything from the um workshop that is anything else bar a big park can you see it's got the little logo there so there's a couple that i've downloaded uh, the Wave, The Tower. Antiquity is the best rated coaster at the moment. Followed, it was, by this. So let me just quickly load this in, just so that we can see it. So, like, superb theming and everything. We can dive in and just do a quick run, and then we'll dive in to... 
Oh, we need to uh, unpause it, Simon, you twit. There we go. Ah! Underly! There we go. Um. I feel like we're going backwards. Oh, yes we are. <laughs> oh, you can only pause when you're in the coaster. That's good to know. Oh, I don't think I could cope with that. I've only been on one thing that sent me backwards, and that was... Um, a ride called the X at Thorpe Park, I think it was. Uh, it was supposed to be on the X-Men, but it was backwards and in the dark. And it, because it was in the dark, you couldn't quite understand what it was that you were doing. And so it all kind of, it just felt like you was being thrown around in the dark, like you were being kidnapped. <laughs> yeah. So um, I didn't really think much of it. The coconut is a giant nut. If you eat too much, you'll get very fat. Now the coconut is big. Uh, okay. There we go. I wondered why that uh, thing was fast. Right. So what I'm going to do, and just fair warning, my parks are nowhere near as pretty as anything that we have here. Now I thought we could toggle filters here we go content packs so the sorry it's me being thick have you tried planet zoo yes i have it um it was literally um so i i i have very 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 briefly uh played it though so i am no by no means an expert on that at all even worse than this i've only played it for about an hour um because it I, I think I bought it the week before my PC died. <laughs> um, so that's why I'm a bit um, all over the shot. Right. So. I'm assuming... we do something for everything right so you get the infinity or infinite however you want to say it vertical chain lift and s lsm i don't even know what that is it sounds like some kind of sexual fetish uh, interdimensional a unique spinning roller coaster mm. mind melt Suspended coaster that sits guests in pairs. Juicy. SLV. Ah. A coaster that can act as a boomerang coaster or a looping coaster. Use the shuttle launch boost before on the station to create a shuttle launch that will leave the station and go forward before going backwards. Ah, okay. Which is pretty much what we just done. Um, except in reverse. And then Vector. Chain lift and SLM. Okay. Plenty of stuff there. And then if we're looking at track rides, again, so we've got the Armada for a high capacity boat ride. Gondola, well, that, that outdoes the chairlift, although isn't the chairlift there? Yes. Oh, so that must have been part of that original park early on that we saw. Oh, well, never mind. 
Machina Classica. Nice. Tracker. That looks like a re-themed... Um, previous one, though. Mm, a little bit meh with that. And let's take a look at the rides. Because it's, I guess, the flat rides that would be most interesting. So let's get set down some of these stuff. Did I miss the point of highlighting those coaster blueprints with icons? Ah, yeah, if you're highlight if you've got blueprints that have got icons next to them, uh, that means that they're downloaded from the workshop or they're your own. Um so that you or you favorited them, I think it might come up with an icon as well. So Oh my god. Power moves. Rising Raptor Power Moves Blueprint. Why is that different? To, oh, I don't know. Oh, I think it's because you can put something on the back. Okay, Ascendants. They kind of all look very similar, which is slightly worrying for me. I, uh, there's You can do a lot with different rides, and they kind of redo the same theme again. But uh, never mind. Right, let's get to it. I think the first thing that we'll do, let's get out our Swift Drifters. And let's start placing stuff down. So, uh, so one of the things that I have learnt from last time, uh, and Steph also brought this up. That is the most randomest comment. I will leave that held for review. Um, you enjoy yourself. Uh, right, is that you can press and hold square, and that then lets you rotate the height uh, and angle and so on and so forth which I didn't realise you could do until earlier on today <laughs> so apologies for those that were busy watching me try and wrestle with changing stuff in the advanced tools when I didn't need to okay so I'm going to put this one then over here I'm going to try and yeah, we'll do that there. And we're going to do a donk. A donk. Oh, hello, sunset. going to do is we're going to dive in to our paths and then I think to give us any news up let's go for stone slab you know what's also a good tip? I feel like this could, Steph, quite easily turn into some kind of horrific Tinder problem, but go for it. <laughs> okay, so I want to kind of create... Nope. I really want to try and make it feel a little bit more natural I guess ah oh. right There we go. Okay, we'll have that there. We'll have you there. 
And then let's quickly switch back to Q's. And we'll keep you wooden. And we'll go there. And that can be turned on. And we'll, we'll come back to theming. I want to lay some stuff down. Pause building so you get more people have choice when it initially opens. Okay. Let's do that. When you have a rock or other theming, you can then rotate them with all directions with the advanced rotate. You can press L1 and L R1 to change axis without scrolling to the little menu. Ah! Grand little tidbits. Thank you very much. This is handy to know. Okay, so that's that there. I'm then going to... Push you off this way and kind of go around a bit. What's the next track ride that we are going to... Uh, sorry, ride ride we're going to put in? A grand carousel. See, I feel like that's a bit of a cheat because there's already the Venetian carousel in. And I know it's slightly different theming. But I kind of feel like that's a bit naughty. Will you add Sky Ace as that is a ride no one puts in the park? Yeah, we're going to stick everything in, Subban. Uh, Subban, sorry. And welcome to the stream, by the way. I've not spotted your name before. Um, oh, I'm kind of loathed to put that there. I think I'm going to put that... Mm, well, it depends. What do we want to do? What, what do I want to do? Right, I want... When you come in, we're going to have... I want the information kiosk. So we are going to go for... Let's stick with the planet theming stuff. So as you come in, we'll have that there. And then we'll have the toilets. I do want it on the other side. Right, let's have it on the other side. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. Thank you. And then what I want to then do is use the path. Oh, how do you... Steph, you'll know. I want to... Mm. Malformed park. How do you fill that in? Uh, can you play with keyboard and mouse? Yes, you can. Uh, I can't. I don't have enough USB ports with my PS4 uh, to be able to do it because I already use one for um, the external hard drive and then the second one for um, 
What's my jigs? Uh, having my Blue Yeti microphone in, so apologies, I can't show. Mm. I know what I want to do. It's just being a bitch. Here we go. Oh, we'll, do, we'll do that and we'll stick a tree in it. Oh, well, maybe not. There we go. Thank you. And we'll have that in there. Right. So we'll have that there. We'll then get in some... So we've got toilets. We've got the information kiosk. Um... Someone said chili beef earlier. Where is the chili beef? Bring me the beef. There it is. Mm, I feel like having the chili beef next to the toilet is probably a wise idea. Um, and then we'll have, I saw the pip shop also getting some love in the chat earlier. So we'll have that in there and that's our little starter area. So then that goes into there. Uh, I will come back for theming. I want to try and get some kind of actual layout going on here and then Let's flick back to the ride. So someone said, what was the ride that they asked for? If it was in the, it wasn't in the DLC. So I'm going to say no to whatever it is. Uh, yes, I am in sandbox. Right, let's get it in the Swift Eagles. No, I don't want the Swift Eagles. Where's that carousel? Let's get in the gentle ones at the beginning. And I will stick that in there. And then we will do that in there. Bit strange that it won't connect it, but okay. And then we're gonna push that around. You no, come on. Go on, then that'll do, and then we'll get that out to there. Oh, there we go. Open. Okay, so that's that there. The next flat ride that we're going to stick in, I think. They all kind of look the same to me. Let's go Sky Temple. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll have to do some of the, some of that. Hmm. I kind of feel like we could get away with that there. And then the idea is that we could then do a Yeah, we'll do one there. And then the exit can come out there. And we'll 
kind of do like a little thing there. And then, thank you, Tom, for liking an activity. God knows what I've liked. You've liked. Uh, right. Uh, then. So, yes, but I'd like you to kind of continue on. Thank you. Nice. I'm assuming we can't go under here. Yeah, okay. Which is cool, because we can then go round and make this Not quite as wonky as that. There we go. Nice. Okay, then we can put in something a little bit more taller here. Let's go for the rising rapid. So the idea here then, <clears throat> so let's put this in the middle. We'll put them in and out from a completely different section just to piss them all off. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Delete. Thank you. Oh, I don't want it to snap. Oh, it's because we're on path. That would be why. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you not hold square and tunnel the path? No, it just square is just for you to turn to. Um, so you can you can't go down. You can only stay above ground. You have to tunnel the stuff around you with the chisel. From how I was doing it anyway. So you can so you can still do like tunnels and stuff, but it's just um, it's a bit clunky at least how I'm doing it anyway which is probably not the most optimal way uh, as you should know by now with me okay let's get you in there and then we're gonna get you out here and then we're gonna open that and then the plan here is to then go to track rides and we're going to have a look at a new track ride for from the DLC packs and let's go for a Machina Classica And so the idea here that's a Hus Condor loving the fake names. Oh, okay. So we're gonna kick off here. And then what we're gonna do. I was going to say, can you even bank these? I feel like we shouldn't be able to. Oh, shit. Undo. Redo. Redo. There we go. Thank you. Edit track.
are we going to clear it? Yes, we are. Hang on. We've mucked it up a bit. Two seconds. then go yes we can we're basically going to pretzel the thing <laughs> who needs crash team racing Shrouded. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to line this up juicy, are we? Quickly dive into paths. Back. It's as if it never even happened. <laughs> Done. So whilst that sorts itself out on a little test run. You seem to really depend on you build uh, it really seems to depend on what you build, the percentage you get. Paths are shockingly high use for what percentage they are. Yes, they do. Um, and I think it's because of how... Um, uh, like, unrigid they are? Is probably the best way that I can describe that. Oh, can we change this? <laughs> Off you go. There we go. That's all good fun. But that should make that ride be a bit more interesting. Okay. What we got next? Uh, let's have a look at... Uh, let's get, I just want to see what the percentage of this is actually going to end up being as well. Oh, got some people coming in. Hello. I'll pause you in a minute because I don't want you to get too far. How horrified is everyone? Oh, there we go, not too bad. OK. 
Okay, let's pause that again. And let's get the old paths out. And then what we got, what we got, what we got. Cues, isn't we? There we go. It's an interesting thing, actually, is to um, if you're worried about the queue of stuff, just make the ride go faster if you can get away with it and add more things on. This reminds me of every final bit of the ride whenever you're about uh, queue of whenever you're about to go on a ride. Cool. Right. Open for business. Can't build a ghost train. Find that most odd. Most parks have them. Yeah, I thought it was strange that there's a ghost train. Oh, there's not a ghost train on here. Um, although people have added quite a lot of good theming into some um, of the rides to try and like make them a bit better. But yeah, it's um, it is a bit odd. Right, what's the next ride that we can pop down? We've got... What was it that we stuck down there? That wasn't the Golden Eagle, was it? No, it was a Rising Raptor. So that's the problem. Yes, I, I like the, the that you get all of these different rides, but they all seem like... It's the same thing, it's just different coloured theming and that kind of worries me a little bit and same with so I guess if I then go for uh, power moves actually that will probably be the, the other one that we should go for so if I stick that there I just think when you say that you've got like all of these different rides they should actually be tangibly different ones rather than reskins of the same concepts in my humble opinion because that's there and then You've got the Power Moves Blueprint, which lets you kind of add a little bit more theming on, on the back bit. But aside from that, it's no different. Is Hyper Jump different? Oh, it is actually... Uh, ah! Yes, okay. Right, we're going to use that with a coaster then. Okay. So we've got the Spinning Coaster... The looping shuttle, the suspended one. Mind melt. Again, a suspended one. This is going to be veering well out of my usual comfort zone, but we'll give it a go. Hus break dance, very popular in Germany, but only one in the UK. You know your coasters, Slothy. Um, I don't feel like I want to. Um, let's go for a mind melt. So what I'd like to do so that's a chain lift. What else we got? Tire drive, friction brakes, trim brakes, block section. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I'll 
have we got in terms of things that we can throw at people? Right, I'm playing now whilst watching you, my inspiration. Oh dear. It's all downhill for you. <laughs> right, we've got... Yeah, I kind of feel like we need to go down before... We need to go down before we can do the snaz. Oh, idiot. That pretzel loop scares me. I do love that this is all kind of here for you to do, though. Oh my god. That looks horrifying. Yeah, we're going to need to go down before we do any of that. Right. Sorry, it's just handy to see what's there. So, let's go down. Do, 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 do. Ah! And then, should we put that into... We'll go straight into a loop. And then we'll come out. And we'll go up slightly. And then... Oh my god. Will we get away with a hammer turn? Let's do a hammerhead turn. Why not? And then let's... Off. Thanks for dropping by. Um, why so serious? Uh, no, I don't think that's going to work. No. Right, whilst we're down there, let's do a... Uh, What's these inline rolls? Right, entry left, entry right. We want to go entry left, inline twist, exit left. And then I'm going to bank to the left and start to kind of take us out a wee bit. Let's bank into the right. There's a reason for that later. Ah, oh, no, now we've buggered it, haven't we? sure that that's got quite a decent ending to it but we'll give it a go <laughs> um right 
open for testing, start test. I know someone said earlier how to not how to get out of that properly, but I forgot. <laughs> I wonder if this will even get round. Oh, yes, it will. horrified oh that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be <laughs> I'll take that nice okay uh, I do want that open oh we can't open it yet right back to pause swap it right so I want to <clears throat> immediately in let's get the paths in we'll do a little bit of stairs there and straight in whereas with the queue oh come on thank you I want them to be terrified. <laughs> mwah, 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 mwah. That is the wonkiest. <laughs> But I'll take it. There we go. Right. So that's cool to get that in there. Then the reason why I wanted to do this bit here was so that we can then get... Where was the... It was hyper jump, wasn't it? There we go. We're going to slide this in the middle. to dive across the paths in here This will all vaguely join back off again at some point, I'm sure, he says. Ugh. 
It's not pretty, but it'll do. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of going there. That will cross together. We need that to kind of go in there. That goes there. That's fine. Um, then I wanted... I want my big buildings. Uh, is that too chunky? Yes, that is. Right. Let's try... I don't really want that either. How about this one? Hey! Skinnier. going to fret too much over it. But we can absolutely stick that in there. And then... Oh, it's a bit crude, but it will do. And I want the same thing again. But I want to be able to get a path in there. Same there. Okay. Let's dive back out into the paths. Please could someone help me think of a name of my Christmas gingerbread ride that I have just made, thanks. Joseph, ooh. Christmas gingerbread ride. Is that an actual coaster? Let us know. Um And is it like a is it a gentle ride or a thrilling ride or What type of thing is it? Coaster. Um, kids ride. Uh, ooh. I reckon, I wonder actually, oh yes we can, um, gingerbread, 
Um, Gingy's Adventure. Um, the Loaf Tin. I'm not sure. Um, oh, that's a great one, James. Mr. Baker's Gumdrop. Yes. Loving that. Um, if there's any kind of um, loops in it, you could call it the whisk. Would have to be built with a Chris machine, though, Gingy. <laughs> Um, okay, so we've got that there. Right, what's next? Oh god, we're filling up this part quite quick. I know that I know those things take up an awful lot, but they're a really quick and simple way to fill up giant voids of spaces. Um, <clears throat> okay. Right, what do we want next? I want to go for a, another DLC track ride, please. Thank you very much. And there's a very specific, well, not a very specific thing, but... Oh, I want to make a custom. Custom, custom, custom. Shrek. Gotta love a bit of Shrek. Okay, gondola... Oh, it's a 3D mover. Oh, I don't know how that one works. Which makes me now want to try it. Right. We can already tell what I'm going for. Oh. Let's watch me fail. I wonder if that... Oh, I think that might be too close, you know. No, that's not going to work. <laughs> we'll try a different ride. Um, apologies. It's going to have to be the Armada, isn't it? 3D Mover is how you'd make your own ghost train style ride. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, nobody, you know. Badger Badger. Just made my first try and think it looks good. It might look amazing. It's in the shop Badger Badger. Cool, we'll take a look in a smidge. I just want to keep going through and making sure that the DLC stuff all kind of gets shown as best as possible, or most of it, at least, anyway. Um, it does feel a bit like it's, um, oh, I didn't really mean that to be that way, but never mind. Yes! There we go. Oh, I think I want it to go the other way though, actually. Hang on.
Ah. Right, I want it to go to there. Oh, it won't let you go less than 12. Right, let's really pull it back for just a 12 meter section. Okay, and then we're going to go straight in. Finish. And I want you to go down and through. Into the splash. Oh, there's a Holden drop. <gasps> Quick. <laughs> Chain hill left end. It's got to be a hold and drop. Oh, shit. Hang on. Comes the splash section. Where does the wide? Oh, there it is. Hey, bro. <laughs> That's not. I mean, it does. They let you do it, but oops. Okay. Do we think? Yeah, we can get away with a second one. Because then we can put another ride next to it as well. People must know my style by now. And then again, we'll do another hold to a drop end. Oh, I wonder. No, actually, that doesn't work at all. Uh, back. Well, there we go. Through the, the hole, in between there, a little bit of fun there, and then a back up and round. I think that works all right. Okay, let's get... Us. Oh open and we can do a little bit of testing on that one and whilst that's testing and going around we'll quickly sort out the paths as well
Oh good, it's actually got through. <laughs> I did wonder. What would be really good is seeing the coaster go round at the same time. That's not very fast. I thought that would be faster than that, but never mind. Oh well. Right, whilst that continues to sort that out, let's just quickly do the queue. Ah. I know that is going to absolutely ruin any chance of making a proper station, but sod it. Boom. Can it rain in the game? I don't think it can. Yeah, underwhelming, definitely. This is going to be even worse. That's really crap. Is it possible to stream this ride into Jurassic World in this game? Um, potentially, Jason. Back here again, slothy lol. Oh, hey, Jake. Um, and have the game ray tracing in PS5. God knows about PS5. I don't have one, sadly. Um, I've not seen rain in this game. Uh, in terms of theming, so you can get away with some theming. I think you would struggle to get a full on Jurassic World stuff. But what you would be able to do is to put up signs and then like type onto them and say things like raw um, or like beware dinosaur here or something like that. So you could go some way to it. And then what you'd be doing with the scenery. So say... Um, like this is this is a crappy example because like you wouldn't necessarily have like trees all the way up here and stuff like that but um like for this uh, where's where was the squiggly section here we go so the idea for me with the squiggly section is that we would then go into the nature we would get out some of the big chunky trees um let's do a filter with oh so if we looked at alpine trees which is slightly different to what you was saying but you could like really try and make something look 
much more interesting obviously over time but you're going to um, kind of struggle a little bit with it great channel keep up the good work thank you you are very kind can it be autumn in the game um no i've not seen seasons i've not seen weather uh, you just get the normal day and night cycle, but you can change it so that you're constantly in day or constantly in night. Wish my mum would have the money and me have the money to get the game. Ah, oh, that's a shame, Skylar. Hopefully you will be able to get it in the near future. Uh, we don't have any staff, so there doesn't need to be a staff building game. Right, so we've got that there. Uh, I'm going to open this ride now that we've got it. I wonder what the, uh, what were the stats for this? Really? I've literally been more excited going to the toilet. Um, we need, so if I dive out from here... I want to get to scenery, and then I was going to go for sculptures. Oh, there is none under the theming that I've currently got. So let's get rid of the theme. I don't remember the sci-fi stuff being here. Um, so that could kind of go in the middle there so that you're at least making it look like you've tried <laughs> or at least I'm making it look like I've tried um, a wee bit And having skull rock there as you kind of slide down would be quite a good one to do. Again, you'd put that there. I do like statues. But yeah. Um, so let's dive back. There's only a winter map. By the way, new sub. Oh, thank you, Aesthetic. Tamale. Any DLC for seasons? No. Thankfully, only EA and The Sims make you do <laughs> seasons DLC. <laughs> um, oh, we've not hired any staff. That would be kind of handy since we're not in pause anymore. Uh, let's quickly come out of that. I'll stick some staff down just so that it runs. So I've got... One, two, three, four, five janitors. One, two, three, four mechanics. Cut the security. Loads of vendors. And then we'll put in the king coaster. Um, right. Okay, I think we've got quite a few things down for the time being. Let's go into some theming to try and make this look a little less sad. <laughs> Which uh, won't be too hard, hopefully. So, we'll need to dive in and get some... Uh, how many DLCs are there? Two at the moment. Um, I don't know if they're going to come back to the PC game and add any more in. Uh, it would be lovely if they did, because then obviously that would also come across here, but... Um, let's just pop that there as a nice little entry point. Okay. So, 
I'd like them to have a little gift shop. Let's have a just a momento. I reckon we could have this just around here. A little bit. <laughs> I like the little things. Uh, I'm then going to... Where's the... Do you know what? I'm going to go into scenery theme and we're going to do planet coaster because then it makes it easier for me. Uh, we'll stick a loony balloons but we'll do it over here. And then we'll have a hat fantastic. We'll have that over there. Okay, then for planet scenery, I think we'll also then stick on. Some stuff here because I want it to be so that as people go around the coaster they see quite a lot of interesting stuff. Why is a man always shouting? <laughs> That's 57% holy tamale. <laughs> good good point, Mario. Um Yes. There isn't much of an excuse, is there? Uh, right, let's go into park scenery. Again, let's go planet coaster. So it's not perfect, but you kind of you get what I mean. And then we'll pop some signs up for each of the rides. So that everyone can see where they are. Uh, when the guy is going no, 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 um, it's basically telling you that you can't build there. See? <laughs> so there is a reason for it. Reminds me very much of, uh, there's an old game called Constructor where um, it had like piss take English accents. It reminds me of that. Uh, oh, we need a... We need a one here, don't we? As well. Right. What would be amazing is that in one day when Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster combine, and then you could have like Planet Ultimate. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't think we can get much more... Uh, like, not in theming wise, but um, we're going to have to really think about what we do. So, let's get some park bins in.
do well to kind of dot around here, but... Oh, wow, everyone wants to go on that. Let's stick one over here as well, just in case. Planet Zoo Coaster. <laughs> Indeed. Um, well, I guess so. it would be great. Oh, hey, Pinky. Um... It reminds me of um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 when they done Soaked and then they did Wildlife. So the idea was clearly there at some point to do it. I also found it really interesting that um, they had Planet... Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 at 30% off on the week of Planet Coaster's console launch. That might cause a bit of congestion around there. Um, I have seen actually um, like groups of uh, visitors get stuck on bins. Hello, Zan. Hope you are well. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to do. bit should we go for? Let's do... Yeah, I think we'll go for this section. Let's dive into to the terrain. Is it chisel? This always feels really satisfying. I would love the PS5 version. That would be great. One of the best things actually around this is that um, there we go. Oh, it it looks a bit jagged there, but okay. <laughs> can we do a little bit here on the water? Yes, we can. Can we go a little bit higher? So if you can't see what's going on here, because this didn't dawn on me until someone said it in the last stream, it was just about making sure that you can get the blue line to go on the water and then it's fine. So I wanted to do there. So I was going to stick that there so that we've got a little watery section. And then put dolphins in. That would be lovely. <laughs> um, but I did want to put in some kind of statue or something. So, I was going to go for this. I wanted that in there. Uh, 
and then special effects. I didn't really. Uh, where's the pyrotechnic section? Frame thrower, not really. Water, here we go. I might not have done this right, but in my head... Okay, they're a bit over the top. <laughs> but it'll do. But it's starting it's starting to come together. Okay. So that's that there. What we got next? Do I want to do anything else more watery wise? I don't think so. That looks a bit weird just being all on its own. Okay. There's literal tra ray tracing. I throw the PS5 out the window if not. <laughs> One thing for sure is for sure, Simon, you make things look a whole lot better than it did when I tried Planet Coaster. Ah, <laughs> oh. well, I'm I'm right at the very beginning of trying to learn. So we was looking at some fantastic parks earlier that, uh, frankly make this oh can i get this on there we go thank you i don't know quite how that syncs to anything whatsoever but it can now have a firework on its head okay Right, so there's a couple more things that we can do. So we've got a little watery area there. Let's go for some... What else have we got? We've got scenes. Okay, we've got that there. Like, what Steph in the chat was doing earlier with all of the... Um, uh, fences and stuff like that was stunning. And I will, I will never be that good. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I wonder then. Like, it doesn't stop you not doing that. It looks redonkulous, but you can. I mean, obviously you'd put in some kind of pylons to make it look not so shit. <laughs> uh, how much does it co cost for one year of PS5 Plus? Uh, yes, £49. But, uh, so, minor self-promotion. Uh, and I apologise in advance. Not. Um, if you go to cdkeys.co.uk um they sell the ps plus cards so that you can just buy the code and it's never the same it's never the full amount um playstation to be fair also do um discounts on the psn stuff uh and in the uk we also have shop2.net um the only reason why i mentioned cd keys is that if you click on the affiliate link in the description down below apparently i get some pennies from the purchase um but i've never ever actually had any sales go through to see if it actually works and um, because we're not allowed to do it ourselves so um yeah uh random shout for that uh also as well just because uh since we're in a self-promotion phase I do have a Patreon uh, from one dollar a month. Um, I don't just do this channel. I also run highplanegames.com, which is a website about video games and reviews and all of that kind of stuff, um, as well as highplanemusic.com to find uh, new and interesting music from unsigned or niche indie artists, if you like independent uh, indie rock classical game music. Uh, I love disastermovies.com, which is basically just a fan site uh, for disaster movies, and I also make music on the side as well. Um, but yeah, the idea with this channel, along with lots of other things that I do, is that it will all kind of come together at some point in the future to. Oh, it's because I've got a the coaster theme on, isn't it? Um, to try and make some kind of independent, completely on its own, self funded. Um, network of um, supporting independent creators and stuff long way from it big idea in the meantime i just work full time <laughs> uh, and do this as my massive passion project um several hours a night every day and i love it which is why it's all completely optional for anyone who does want to help hmm so we could make this a rockery section, actually. We've got the water section. Let's make this the rockery part. Disaster movies and games like Planet Coaster, City Skyline, so that's something that can be combined. Yes! Indeed. But yeah, it's worthwhile saying actually, just in case, because I don't want to disappoint people. Um, it's I don't just play Planet Coaster. I have really varied game taste, and so I do videos on all kinds of stuff all over the shop. So if you do subscribe, um, just be aware that I will be posting about other games, and I have other series that run as well. But because of the popularity of Planet Coaster on this channel, uh, purely because the game arrived early in the post. Oh shit, have I just... Oh! I'm really sorry! <laughs> I've stoned him. Um, or he's stoned, one or the other. But yeah, I don't want to um, have someone feel that um, I will only be doing Planet Coaster because uh, that would not be the case. So I just want to be upfront and honest with that. But I will be absolutely doing loads and loads of building stuff now because... Um, I think it's good fun. And I'm loving the community. Everyone's been so nice in the chat. As opposed to trolling me all day long. Especially when I'm doing shit like this. Oh. 
In my mind, that looked better than how it's turned out. Can we put a little rock in there? There we go. Let's do that. Are you into SnowRunner? Um, I've not played SnowRunner, Jason. I do have MudRunner though. I'm terrible at it. Um, and actually on my review list of games that I've got, um, that I need to review is, oh, it's now completely gone from my mind. Um, oh, 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 over something. Not overrun, not overcooked. Um, it's like 4x4 four four driving type thing. Um, boo. It came out earlier this year. Anyway, um, it's a very similar type game. Um, which was 75% off on the American PSN store the other day. And I was like, right, I'm buying an American PlayStation Network card and getting it. <laughs> right, we've had enough of rocks. Here's a, here's a phrase you won't hear me say very often. Let's dive into the bushes. Okay. Let's have a... Where could we have some bushies? Do you know what? Let's let's bushy up round here. Oh no, let's go for the flower planters, actually. Overpass! Thank you! Thank you, Jason. <laughs> You're a star. Um I've not played it yet, so I'm glad to hear that it's good. I was watching some of your F1 gameplay the other day. Hurrah for the rewind feature. <laughs> You're so kind, yes. Um, in general, I try to not use the rewind feature in any way, shape or form. Um, but this year I've been kind to myself. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't think this theming actually goes, but sod it. We're going with it now. Um... Oh, we could do like a... I feel like we could get away with some kind of like secret garden section. I mean, or not. I don't want pirate flowers. I just want, I want basic bitch flowers. Oh, I'll take it with a fountain though. Okay, and then we'll have a little thing there. Oh, I know that's the fairy tale theme, but we'll have it. Right, the next thing I'm desperate to try and work out how to do, and I'm sure... Right, angle snap path joining off. This was what someone was saying earlier, wasn't it? Oh, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Mm. 
No! Right. Oh, shit. Thank you. Is it because I've got the length as... I'm doing something wrong here, clearly. I want to try and... Curve slopes, flattened terrain, tunnel... Oh, there's tunneling! Who knew? <laughs> Railing squared, uh, camera will follow. Wow. We learn something every stream. Right. I do want path joining on then. Peekaboo! Hi! There we go. I think you just have to be really savvy with how it connects it together. I think. Or not. Oh, come on. There's got to be an easier way. Malformed path. want to be able to like cover it up oh, fuck it I'm sure there is a really really simple way of doing that but what I wanted to then do let me get into create Where's my benches? My picnic tables! They're a bit jaunty. He's gone off again. I'll be back with you in chat in a second. Come on, PC. I don't know why it decides to shut off. It clearly should be able to see that YouTube is running. to get planet shops angle 
things snap off. Thank you. There we go. Swap the letter rounds and you can get the anger out in a round of cod. Do not talk that kind of shit in my streams, me of old. <laughs> we'll be having we'll be having none of that shooty shooty gun gun. No fun for the hours. Ah oh, dear. Oh well. Picnic for all. Better put us down some bins actually for the for the lazy little schnauzers. Do that around the outside. Running outside, running outside. Oh, there we go. We can pretend that it's a feature. There we go. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Uh, and then we'll do one over in the corner here. What? No, 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 no. That's not how it works. Right. For the next stream, I will try and make sure I get how on earth paths work properly with this game. Apologies. Right. 61%. I've been streaming for quite a while. I don't want to bore people. Um, and I don't, I don't want you to all go, please, not another Planet Coaster stream. Ghosts apparently enjoy theme parks. They seem to end up on the rides. Zero punctuation reference. Okay, right. Let's dive down. Oh, well, I'm so sorry that the janitor is unhappy. Uh, that seems excessively high. Can we not be... There we go. Right, how can we... I wonder... Oh yes, we'll have that in. And we'll test it. Pull back for lift off. Oh no, 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 no. Oli oli oli! Ricky is in the uh, chat, but thank you very much for joining the Patreon. You really didn't need to, and that's very lovely that you did. I shall aim to make your your dollar worthwhile. Oh, 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 shit. Looks like we're going backwards. <coughs> Where's my swift eagle? Oh, yes, yeah, Saban. We need to get that in. We'll do that next. Apologies. 
I'd forgotten the name of the coaster that you'd said. Oh, I, c I don't know if I could deal with that going backwards. That's a bit nuts. <laughs> okay, right, let's quickly get... Um, oh, I don't care about cosmic cow milkshakes. Right, let's do... Uh, right, we need to get the paths done, don't we? Mm, path joining on. Aww. That's that. Let's quickly get in. Part of the fun of being in the queue for the coaster, if you could ever call being in a queue fun, ever, is being able to, um, oh, see the ride coming, like, in little glimpses so that you can shit yourself up a bit with it. <laughs> right, we need to do... Is it possible to walk through the haunted house in the same manner as riding the coasters in first person? Potentially, yeah. So if you've done, if you've made a haunted house um, and like themed it all up, so you can go in and and walk through the park as any visitor. That person looks a bit jaunty. Um, excuse me. Stop running in the bushes. We all know people that do that generally end up in prison. Uh, but yeah, so you'd be able to kind of see what's going on with that. <clears throat> or like that. Hello! Do you go like that? So that would probably be the only way I think you could get away with it. Um, just to stop the notifications, I'm just going to quickly drop down a... a staff building. Staff building, have ten, and be overworked. There we go. Oh, just whilst that's gone on. There's a trophy for rehiring someone. Sorry, I just popped into my head. Um, right. Eagle. Eagle, eagle, eagle. Was the eagle a coaster, wasn't it? Or a coaster type? Or was it a track ride? Trophy hunter. You know me. Oh, it's a flat ride. Sorry. Sky Temple, Golden Eagle, Rising Raptor, Power Moves, Hyper Jump, Free Flyer, Swift Eagle. There we are. Right. Let's put it somewhere ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like Help. 
Lots of circular things there. Where, where else could we stick it? Let's put... Ah, I know what we're going to do. Let's make them fly! <laughs> and then, because I've decided that that is now the most important ride in the park. There we go. So the eagles are flying on top of that building. But they're also... So the beauty of this is that they're also going to see... The coaster going around there and the coaster going there, and them lot being flung up all at the same time. <laughs> nice. Might be a flat line ride, but it's a bit high now. Wow! Good one. They've just got a massive trek to get to the top. <laughs> Never mind. Right, let's get on this giant coaster. Because this now should be feeling a bit more themed. That's a bit better. Let's just see the first half of it again, just to see if anything's better there. And look at how the theming has bumped that up now to a seven on the exciting scale. So that's cool as well. Reminds me of that um, water slide that they were supposed to put in the middle of London. <laughs> oh! The more I watch, the more I remember why I've never been on a roller coaster in my life. What you saying? Cool. That was the beginning bit. I just wanted to see that. Um, and then I just wanted to check. So we've the severely underwhelming don't tell me that there is own come on let's bump this party up god no wonder everyone's bored to tears in there we only had one boat going around Go, 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 go. Oh, God, we've got to test it again. Oh, dear. I'd be well pissed off if that was me. Right, I want to then, I want to get on this one. Or actually, no, let's get on the second one. Oh. 
or third one rather. I think this might look a little bit better. Please, I just want to see the coaster go round as we're on it. See, if that wasn't hovering, that would be all right. Where's the coast? I want the coaster! Oh, there's one. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh-oh! Please, please, please. I just want it to happen. No. Oh! oh maybe not. Okay, well I've tried, I've tried. It's not quite synced. If I sat with timing, maybe it would all sync itself up nicely, but uh, no is the answer. Okay. Now of interest, we didn't go on this either, so let's quickly just dive onto this to see how this works. And then I think I'll wrap up Lestrom, if that's okay with everyone. Unless there's anything in particular people would like to see. Or if you've got any questions about the game on console, let me know before I wrap it up. Meep meep. Ha ha ha. We're coming to get ya. That's cool. Come here often, Bob. Is there a stream tomorrow? Uh, not for Planet Coaster, no. Um, tomorrow, if it arrives in the post, um, I've ordered uh, Kingdom Hearts, the new rhythm action game from the RPG series. Um, it was released today, but unlike this, see, my physical copy of this game arrived early. My physical copy for Kingdom Hearts has arrived not on time. So it's just uh, sh swings and roundabouts. Um, and it was going to be, if that arrived today, then I was going to stream that instead today and do Planet Coaster tomorrow. Assuming that Kingdom Hearts arrives tomorrow, I'm going to stream that instead. The next stream for Planet Coaster will probably be Monday. Um, and then I think Planet Coaster, I'm just going to be streaming um, on Monday nights from then on. Uh, probably around about between 7 and 8 o'clock UK time uh, going on into the night depending on how drunk I get <laughs> which um, I've been completely sober on this one so I've done well uh, and hopefully what we'll see is over time um, I'll be slightly less crap <laughs> is the plan we'll soon see we'll soon see um, but yeah we'll be doing Kingdom Hearts tomorrow, assuming that it arrives. If not, then um, I've got some other games that I have been sent for review that I need to get out and review on. Um, so yeah. You guys all take care. Um, do leave us in... If you've uploaded any coasters or any or anything on the PlayStation 4 version of the Frontier Workshop, drop it down in the comments so that I can preload it and then we can show off everyone's stuff on the next stream on Monday. But uh, otherwise, if you don't catch you on another video or in the comments beforehand, have a great weekend. Don't get too much out of mischief or into mischief. Um, and I'll catch you hopefully on Monday, if not before then. Take care all. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye. La 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 la